Welcome back to Good Morning La Land. We're so honored on Hashtag Friday Feels to have an extraordinary couple that are masters in teaching us so many things about relationships. They've been married for 18 years. They are co-authors of How to Keep Your Marriage from Sucking and um, podcast Maybe It's You. Yeah. So Greg and Amira, welcome to the show. Hey thanks guys. so much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us. I, yeah. What an incredible gift you've given us in listening to your podcast and in reading your book because it's so insight on wondering though in doing this what have you learned about each other oh boy hmm. um you do we constantly discover things because yeah. it's a con you know a marriage is a constant dialogue and a conversation about you know how you are and sometimes you'll find you know in the podcast suddenly she'll go uh you're not supposed to forgive anybody ever i'm not i don't i don't want to forgive you and i'm like oh okay really? <laughs> Oh, you know, like, I think sometimes you just reveal things to each other, so it's a constant, you know, um, uh, right. reassessment, which I think is, I think without the podcast, we'd be right. divorced. But you've been on Oprah on her master class. I mean, you guys are clearly considered experts in this area. Well, you know, we're all about living at a certain standard of life and feeling your worth and the idea that, you know, we feel that a marriage is more of a practice than an institution. It's something that you do, like you were speaking of earlier, married. you know, the idea that, you know, just from every morning to every end of the day, you know, just stay married today, stay present, stay mindful, stay connected. And just the idea that the grass isn't necessarily greener over there. It's greener where you water it. And we like to water the marriage, Love so that. if we can. I, I, have, I have a quick question for you. We, we've got some great B-roll uh, happening now. What was it like working with Oprah? Um, she is awesome. The thing that was kind of cool was um, we'd done her original show a couple of times, and then yeah. uh, and then we did this thing. And because it was an hour thing, hour on her network. She came down beforehand in her pajamas. <laughs> for rehearsal. She was like, <laughs> pajama, pajamas and slippers. And I was like, and she's does she live funny. here? And this you, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you forget that she's like in show business. She's right. Like one of us. Like she, you know, she, she wanted to be in television. And so she's funny the way you would be. And she's loose and really, really nice. Um, but she's also very powerful. And she knows it. When I did the, uh, for, for, he's just not that idiot when I did it. She just put her hand on my knee and went, you're going to sell a million books. Really? <laughs> and that just happened. Yeah. 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 Ye
right? And then you somehow get to a point of like, why am I not getting? Where's my Where's my love my language? Thing? Yeah. Right. And right. I actually think that like you have to remind yourself, you pick this thing to do. You decide to be married. Nobody else decided it for you. You've decided to be in service to somebody else. And by service, I don't mean lowering your standards. It's just like my job is to see how I can make her life better. Why would I be with her? And she's my favorite person. So wouldn't my goal be every day? How can I make it better? Now, I'm not saying that that's what I do, I, but you know. And also to remember that when you're married, like just sometimes you just need a five minute check in to go, look, right. and I know we haven't been, like, right. I mean, every day you need to have some kind of touching or eye contact or write each other a note, but you got to do it every day. Otherwise you forget that that's the central, that's right. the sort of sphere of I your life. I love it mm. as, a, as a practice, as a spiritual practice, and right. having those distinctions for people to think every day this is, I'm a work in progress, they're a work in progress, but if I don't do it every day, it's like a daily spiritual practice. You're not, it's not like you, you're done, you're arrived, you figured it out. Like forever is like, the oh, worst I'm amount of time to give anybody. <laughs> like nobody wants forever, yeah. it's too difficult. And, and in recovery, you know, when people are in recovery, they just have to stay sober till midnight, right? I just gotta stay sober today. Tomorrow, if I'm gonna drink, I'll worry about that tomorrow. But, and mm -hmm. if I'm just married today, there are days where you go, just gotta stay married till midnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I go to bed now, yeah. if I go to bed now, we'll be married. I know it's five in the afternoon, but if I go to bed now, we're still married. <laughs> <laughs> And the next morning, I'll feel better about it. You know? I love this. It's so funny. I heard it's such an interesting story, and I've shared it maybe once before, about Eckhart Tolle and his partner, Kim Ang. And Kim said, you know, Eckhart is nothing like what I had imagined for myself in terms of a romantic partner. And she says, every single day for years now, I've thought, maybe I want to separate. And she says, every single day, I meditate on it, and the answer is always, oh, no, not today you don't, Kim. You know, come back tomorrow now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, such yeah. A, it's, I love this point. It, it's just about one day at a time. It's one day at a time, and also you can always renegotiate the terms. Like if something isn't working, you, you know, you just have to lady up and have a conversation. Like if hi, lady hi, up, mm. <laughs> lady love, up. but it I is. Lady up all the time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it is that thing, you know. If something isn't working, you know it's not working. You know, you can't be ruled by fear. You know, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about love. And if this, it should be a safe space. So you should be able to say, you know what? I know I pretended to like that, or I thought I'd be okay with this, but this really feels junky, and I and like I want to retable that conversation. Let's do it. You know, you have to be willing to do what the work. What if somebody's not, uh, you know, they're not committed to the work? And we've talked about even like yesterday with John Asraf, like if you if you're really not committed to the goal, because it is really a practice in there. Some people just maybe aren't meant for marriage. No, so then they don't. Then you don't do it. Yeah. I mean, we don't think like it's a. It, it's not. It, it's for. It's for you if you want it. Mm -hmm. We want it. We like it. But it's what we decided to do. We wanted to take the step to do it. We wanted to sign papers. We wanted to make it a little bit easier, harder to walk out the door. Um, but we enjoy it. Our parents were both married, and uh, uh, obviously, but they were married for you know all of their lives so far, and we like that idea. But. If you are un if you are in something and somebody's like I'm not I don't want to do the work, then it's on you. Yeah. I think most people don't have the courage to go. Well, then I'm going See, because that's I'm... the only way to pull the you know to really yeah. set set it up. Set this the is what I love about your book. This is what I love about your podcast, and this is what I love about you guys is that and this is what I sort of was referring to earlier. You guys are clearly committed to marriage, but you're committed to loving each other even more than the marriage. You know th that that's what allowed you to stay committed to marriage is that yeah. you're actually committed to not just staying in an unhappy right. situation. Even when we don't like each other, we love each other yes. and we're committed. Because right. I think every long-term relationship goes to that point where you're just like, I hate your guts. I still love you deeply, but I also hate your guts today. And <laughs> it's tomorrow's going to be different. When you talk about like the idea of souls, it's like that's what that marriage means. That like it, it means they're coming together. So the marriage actually holds us together. The marriage has been the, the strength in the relationship, not the problem with it. I love yeah, because you, know, you build equity that. in the relationship Beautiful. with the marriage, and then yeah. that takes exactly. you through when you have like you know. And when it's good, it's unreal because you have all this time together. Yeah. It's like anything else that you've worked on, where like when we, you know, our kids or, you know, we have certain victories in our lives or we just enjoy each other, you know, and when we do, it's amazing. I love um, that. So where can they find the book? Is it? Uh, uh, How to Keep Your Marriage From Sucking is available at Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com or the audiobook comes out soon, which you can yep. download from uh, Audible and Brilliance. iTunes. Do you guys iTunes? both? Speak it? Yeah, we do. Oh yeah. We God, do. So we narrate our audio box. And I cannot wait to read it. Oh, it that's so nice. Really, no, Thank you. Honestly, yeah. I think it's really great vital information for people to understand before they even enter into this. Totally. Yeah, we have, sure. we, have, yeah. we have another one coming out in uh, January. It's the second half of this, and it's called We Used to Be in Love and Now We Work Here. 
That's about right. That's where the law term marries, yes. That's the big one. Right. This one's the preventative. Yeah. And then where can they find your podcast? We're with the Starburns industry, but you can find it on Apple or anywhere you listen to podcasts. It's called Maybe It's You. Maybe It's You. All right. I love it. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. The couple with the best book titles and podcast name on the planet right here. Maybe It's You.